Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Our egg's evolving. Oh, no. This was unplanned. We got a cluffer. We got a cluffer. A, that's a pretty good Pokemon to have. B, do you know how hot I would have been had I chosen Cluffa as our starter? I would have been highly, highly displeased. Welcome to the team, Cluffa. All right, so just as any other, we have to nickname our Cluffa. Uh, this, it, it hatched on the way back to Dark Cave. Remember I said I was going to go back and get any encounters that we had missed so that uh, we could possibly have a full team. But Cluffa went ahead and hatched. Cluffa, this is... This is, this is, this is Starla. Welcome to the team, Starla. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Uh, I'm going to continue on my way back to the lovely dark cave. Uh, which way do I go? I'll, I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. Okay, so we have a Rattata on the team. It's not too bad. Alright. Rattata. Let's read the Pokedex on Rattata. It's the mouse Pokemon. Living wherever there is food available, it ceaselessly scavenges for edibles the entire day. Alright. There's a Rattata. We're gonna have Rattata. We're gonna we're gonna love us a Rattata. This is Rattata. Everybody welcome the scavenger the retarded to the team. Alright, that's one catch. All right, and we got a Badoof on the team. This game, this game, boy, I tell you. <sighs> Let's read Badoof in the Pokedex. Badoof is the plump mouse Pokemon. It lives in groups by the water. It chews up boulders and trees around its nest with its incisors. It's Badoof. This is Badoof. Let's get Badoof a nickname just like everybody else. This is teeth. No, no, no. This ain't teeth. This ain't teeth. This is tooth. Tooth the Badoof, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Badoof, to the team. Okay, we've got every possible encounter we could have to this point. So now what we're going to do is train up. <sighs> Be back in a flash. All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. <sighs> Allow me to reintroduce Team Snaps and Claps. It's way too early for me to be reintroducing them. But here we go. Let's reintroduce them one by one. All right, up front we have our leader, Perry, the brave Primplup. Torrent ability. Look at those stats. Those are the stats of a champion in the making. His attacks, Pound, Peck, Bubble, and Metal Claw. Perry hasn't changed from the last episode. It was more or less me training everybody else. As you can see, we have a full team, finally. Finally. <laughs> we're also out of options, so if we lose anybody, we're playing man down. Next up, we have Waste, 
the lax bee drill. Um, this was a cocoon at one point in time. It took a lot of training for it to not be a cocoon anymore. It's a bee drill, bug and poison type. Uh, swarm for the ability. So the same way Torrent raises Perry's water type attacks once it gets to a third health or less, Swarm waste ability raises its bug moves once waste gets to a third health or less. I'm not foreseeing waste getting to a third health or less. If waste gets that low, waste is going to die. Uh, hard and fury attack, focus energy, and twin needle. Twin needle gets the bonus, ladies and gentlemen. Those stats are all right. They're all right. They could be way better for a Beedrill, but they're all right. Then we have Viper. The Hardy Ekans hasn't evolved yet, but he is on his merry way. Uh, still the Intimidate ability. It has Wrap, Glare, Poison, Sting, and Bite. Glare is going to be an MVP for Viper. If I have to send out Viper, I, if I ever have to send out Viper, I need Glare to go first. Got to make things a lot easier for him. Those stats aren't good, but of course, Viper hasn't evolved yet. Our egg hatched, if you guys remember, our egg hatched into Starla, the modest Cleffa. Uh, I didn't mention this, but I named Starla after uh, this woman that I used to know a long time ago, a long time ago. Her name was Starla, and I thought that was a nickname because she had a star tattoo on her, her under her wrist. But that was actually her name. I thought it was a pretty cool name. So welcome Starla, the modest Cleffa, to the team, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops, you weren't supposed to see that just yet. Uh, <laughs> Starla has the cute charm ability, which is great. Because what it does is if, if the Pokemon makes contact with another Pokemon, and it's of the opposite gender, Starla's a female. So if, it, if Starla makes contact with a male, there's a chance that the opponent Pokemon can become infatuated. Which is more or less like paralysis. Um, there's a chance that they won't attack for the turn. So we're going to bank on that. Stats are decent. They're not all right. They're decent. Uh, but that's because Starla's a baby. She hasn't evolved yet. Um, her attack. Sweet Kiss, Magical Leaf, Extra Sensory, and Encore. Sweet Kiss causes confusion, I believe. What does Sweet Kiss do? Yes. Sweet Kiss causing confusion. That's going to be the MVP there. Sweet Kiss into Encore. That's how you play with, with uh, Cleffa, ladies and gentlemen. Scavenger, our Rattata, our modest Rattata. Not evolved yet. Almost there. The ability run away. The ability has run away, ladies and gentlemen. Out of all things we could have gotten, run away is what we've received. Look at those stats. Those are good stats for a Rattata. Those are good stats. The, the attacks. Pursuit, Bite, Hyper Fang, and Focus Energy. I love me some Focus Energy. Focus Energy combined with Hyper Fang? Oh, guess what? Somebody's dying. Rattata is really good. Rattata is really good. We just have to, we have to find a way to ensure that Rattata won't die. Yeah, we, we need Scavenger on the team. And we caught a Bidoof, but it's no longer a Bidoof. Toof, the brave Bibarel. To, uh, the brave Bibarel. I want, I want you guys to, to brace yourself. Brace yourself for, for these attacks, all right? I want you to get ready. Unaware is the ability. Um, ignores any changes in ability by the foe. Look at those stats. Those are actually good stats. Those are on par with, with Perry, if I'm not mistaken. We'll, we'll take a look at it in a second. But the attacks, tackle, water gun, defense curl, and roll out. Now, defense curl and the roll out, that's pretty good. The moves by themselves as a whole, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, Tooth. Let's, let's compare the stats to, to Primplup. Yeah, they're, that's what I was thinking. They're more or less on the same, same scale. Um, Perry's special attack is way higher, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not seeing uh, too few special attack. You didn't use it when we were training, so I'm not seeing that coming up. That's our team right now, ladies and gentlemen. And we have no reserves. We have no reserves after this. So if anyone dies, we're, we're playing man down. Okay, so the goal today, the goal in this very long recording session that, I'm, that I've done right now, um, we are going to do the Azalea City Gym. That's really the last thing that we can do. Also, remember I mentioned... Next time I have a clothing change, uh, and actually I just realized my color switch directions. Um, I said next time I do a color change, we should be able to get the balls from Kurt, the balls that were once apricorns. Um, that's not possible because I'm recording much earlier in the day than I thought I would be. I forgot my schedule for the day. So next recording session, 
definitely next recording session, we will be able to get the balls from Kurt. All right. So we're going to go ahead. Let's uh, let's stock up on medicine and such because we know how that goes. Let's get some some potions, some antidotes, whatever we can get. Can we get anything? Oh, yeah, we get a few things. Let's get some potion. Oh, let's get a super potion because we only have one. Let's get a super potion. And then we get the rest in potions. Well, we get one potion. That was that was the best shopping trip I've ever been on in my life, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we've stocked up on everything. Now there's nothing stopping us. We have to go ahead now from here into the Azalea City Gym, where we're going to fight against the Azalea City Gym Leader. Here we go. Yo, Challenger, Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug-type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of the bug-type. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug-type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying-type moves are super effective, too. All right, so we got a little bit of an advantage in Perry. His pecs should be strong here. Here we go. Okay, so the bug gym, the Azalea City gym, I should say, has a bit of a puzzle in it. Uh, there are these lines that you, uh, I'm sorry, these spider rides that you can ride across, and they'll take you to the other side. The trick is you have to get on the right one. If a spider line comes to an intersection, it's going to take a turning path. So, for example, this first puzzle, I think we want to go to the middle. We want to go to the middle above, not where I am right now. So we want to take a path that's going to lead us that way. The correct path is the one on the left because it will go to the right. Then it'll go up and then to the right again. And it'll continue going up and it'll go to the left. Simple. The puzzles are simple. If you want, if you want to know, if you want to know the right way, you don't figure it out from where you're standing. You figure it out from where you want to go. You follow that line backwards. And that tells you which way to go. Just so you guys know. It's, 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 a, it's a puzzle trick. Uh, here's our first battle. Now the, the guide told us. Fire type moves and flying type moves are super effective, but remember, this is a randomized Nuzlocke. We don't know what kind of gem this is. It's actually not even a type based gem. They could have whatever Pokemon they want to have, so so we're in for it. We are in for it, ladies and gentlemen. Our first battle of this episode. Buttcatcher Benny actually has a Weedle. That's interdasting. You know what else is interdasting? This peck attack. Good work. Go work, Perry. I mean, it was a level 7 Weedle. There's not too much you couldn't do against it. Here's a Burmy, though. Let's switch from, from Perry. Uh, a Burmy. 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 How about we send out Viper? Let's start with Viper today, ladies and gentlemen. Burmy is part bug. And depending on its location, it's another type as well. This one's bug and grass. Cool. If it's bugging grass, I believe we can use Poison Sting for it to be super... It's got Protect. It's got Protect. That means we're not going to do anything to it this turn. Here's another Sting. Here's another Protect! Oh, he's a clown. Come on. Good work. Hey. Hey. Oh, no. It doesn't do... It's not super effective, but we were lucky enough to Poison Burn me. All right, we can switch out, can't we? we we're, we're safe, right? We don't have to worry about life getting in the way, do we? Here's Starla. Let's send Starla out. Nope. Nope. Come on. Uh, extra sensory. What is that? That's four prote five protects, isn't it? It should be out of protect, right? Unless the AI is a cheating bastard. The AI is a cheating bastard. Oh, no. Come on, Starly. You got this. Shed skin. Yeah, shed skin. It's still protecting. Good work. Good job, Starla. Proud of you. Proud of you, my little baby. Uh, the last one is a Spinda. I'm going to leave Starla in. I'm going to leave Starla in. Starla can handle this. All right. How about we go with a magical leaf? No, no, sweet kiss. Stick to the plant. Oh, wait, we can't confuse Spinda, can we? Yeah, own tempo. 
own tempo makes it so we can't confuse Spender. As soon as I looked at it and remembered it has swirly eyes, I was like, wait a minute, we can't confuse this thing. All right, we're getting Starla out of there. I don't want this fight to take forever. We're searching for Starla to Toof. Toof, it's your turn, Toof. Come on. Is it a crit? I mean, he's not going to do too much if it's not a crit. How about we go with Defense Curl? Come on. Yeah, one more to curl. Give him one more curl, Toof. Copycat. He's going to Defense Curl. Oh, that curl, though. I'm going to do Defense Curl one more time. Now, there's only one instance. There's only one instance in which I would use Defense Curl so much by choice. Here comes a rollout. Oh, my God. And it's going to fail, right? No, what? Copycat's supposed to fail if, if no move is used. Rollout gets stronger the more you use Defense Curl. That's why I use it so many times. He's out of it. Come on. Good work, Tooth. Good work, Tooth. Tooth has his strengths and weaknesses, boy, I tell you. All right. Just evolving isn't enough. Um, I'm not mistaken, but none of those were evolved at all. Okay, so this puzzle also includes switches. The red little, like, bridge to cross and the blue bridge to cross, or path, I should say. The red path and the blue path aren't active. You have to activate them. So if I want to activate both of them, what I need to do is first hit this blue switch. I'm sorry, they were active. I need to deactivate them. Uh, actually, I don't need to deactivate that one just yet. Let's go on this path. We'll go north, take the right path. Then we'll go north and take the blue path back. Go north and take the red path. And now, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the first double battle of heart gold and soul silver. So this is Amy. Hey, are you challenging the leader? No way. And Mimi. If you insist, we'll be your opponents. It's the double battle, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who don't know, I love me some double battles. I thought that was the coolest thing ever when they introduced double battles. There's so much more strategy needed in a double battle. Look at the skitty. I love me some skitty. Okay, so we have Perry and Waste. Uh, let's see. We'll have Perry use his bubble. Oh, bubble works on both of them? Perfect. How about Twin Needle? No, Twin Needle's only for one. How about we do Focus Energy? Waste, we'll do Focus Energy. Waste is fast, boy. Waste is so fast. Come on, Perry. Good job. Uh -oh. Hold it, Waste. Hold it. There you go. All right, so uh, Waste use Focus Energy. It guarantees that the next move will hit. I enjoy. I enjoy when we're guaranteed to hit. Uh, we'll do Metal Claw against Skitty. And how about we do Fury Attack against Skitty? We need to take out one Pokemon at a time. If they're alive, they still get to... Oh, it's a crit, though. That crit, though. If they're alive, they're guaranteed to still... I'm sorry. If they're alive, they have an opportunity to still deal damage. And it doesn't change based on how much health they have. So we got to get rid of them. That Metal Claw. Good work, team. Good work. Proud of both of you right now. Proud of both of you. That was a, that was a quick battle. That was a quick double battle. Okay, so they have the blue switch next to them. Let's go ahead and activate... I'm sorry. Deactivate the blue switch. So now we can go back on the same bridge. We'll take the red path across. We'll go down. We won't take the blue path because it's inactive. And we'll come down here towards the red switch. Now once we activate this one, we'll then go north. All right, and this is our gym leader. Now, I'm not going to immediately fight the gym leader yet. I'm going to heal up because look at our team. They've taken some hits. I don't want them to go into this battle unhealed. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave here. Let's go back here. We're going to leave here, and we'll heal up, and then we'll come back, all right? Okay, so a couple things. I healed up the team, and I remembered that I had the carbos in my items. So what I did was I sold that, and I bought some more super potions. I have a ridiculous amount of super potions right now. It don't make sense to not have super potions if we have 10, all right? 
So let's go ahead and get ready to fight Bugsy, the leader of the Azalea City Gym. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. All right! Here you go! All right, Bugsy. He's got three, we got six. He leads with an Aerodactyl? Come on, fam. All right, here's a here's a bubble. Aerodactyl's part rock, so bubbles should be the bubbles should be quite well. Oh, it's fast. I forgot it's very fast. Here's a bite. Oh lord, a crit. It's already it's already one of those episodes, boys. We got a crit and it did zero things. <sighs> Let's heal. Let's blow that super potion. Here you go. Hold it for me. We just need to see. I need to see how much damage he does. On a not crit situation. Okay, 15 is not bad. I'm okay with 15. Here's a bubble. Oh, that's even less than 15. That's loverly. On this, his crit can't even. Oh no, he's holding a berry. He's holding a berry, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Catch him again. All right, we need to heal now. Now we're at the point where we definitely need to heal. Here we go. It's all right. I'm glad I bought those potions, boy. Those super potions. Woo-wee. Come on. All right, Aerodactyl. All you got is bite. All you got is bite. I am here for it. We're faster all of a sudden. Damn. He held on. Roar. Roar sent someone else out. He brought in Starla. Oh, that's not fair at all. That's not fair at all. Starla's leaving. Starla is leaving. Who are we sending in? Oh, uh, I guess I can send in Tooth. Tooth has more health than uh than Perry, and his defense is better, I believe. Let me check. Uh Tooth's 26. No, Perry's defense is better. Uh let's go back to Perry then. Let's go back. Okay. Come on. He used a super potion. That makes me sad. Now we gotta do all that work again. Come on, Perry. I believe this should be the ace. This should be the highest level Pokemon. Uh oh. This should be the highest level Pokemon that Bugsy has. So the rest won't be so much of a fight. We gotta heal here. We gotta heal here. Come on. Good work. Here's a bite. Damn, it was another crit. Uh, did that do more? It did like one point more this time. That's scary. That is so scary. That is how much damage it does keeps varying. That is very scary. All right, we're healing here. Bubble was doing speed drops. That's why. Okay. Uh, we're healing here. I don't care. We're healing here. I've blown almost half of our super potions on Perry. Come on. Come on. Roar again. Who is it? Alright, it's Waste. Waste is already really fast. Problem is, Waste doesn't have any strong attacks, really. Not against a rock type. I'm switching. I'm, I'm switching Waste. I'm switching Waste out. We gotta go back to Perry. Roar is probably like one of the best moves he can use. Because he can figure out what I, what the hell I'm trying to do with the roar. Come on. Alright, we should be first, right? Nope, still, he's still faster. But Perry got it as long as it lands. Good work, Perry. Good work. One down. Waste slow. Waste gain the points. Starla gained the points. Igly buff. Eagly Buff versus Starla. Right? That's a safe. That's safe, right? How about we go Viper? We, we poison we poison the Eagly Buff. How about that? How about that? Come on. Come on, Igly, uh, Viper with the Intimidate. 
Uh, here's a point. Ooh, glare. Let's paralyze it. Stick to the plan. Paralyzed. Sweet kiss. Sweet kiss. How about we poison it? Oh, we can't poison it. It's paralyzed. We'll just hit it with a poison sting then. How about that? There's a crit though. Ooh, that crit though. Come on, Viper. Come on, Viper. Damn, we need a crit. All right, from here I'm switching to uh, switching to good old Starla. I don't want I don't want Sweet Kiss to go off or any of the uh, the ones that care about gender to go off. So let's match the genders. Ooh, that curl, that defense curl. How about we catch it with a extra sensory, Curtis? Good work. Good work. One left. It's a Kakuna. It's a Kakuna. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to fight a Kakuna for our last Pokemon in this gym battle. Kakuna only knows Harden. I don't care what level it's at. It only knows Harden. Even though it's my last Pokemon, fuck Pokemon are tough. Nope. Not today, they're not. Not against this extra sensory. Come on, Starla. Come on. Come on. Good work. Good work. Starla should level up, yeah? Good work. Proud of you. Proud of you. All right. Aw, oh, that's the end of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got the Azalea City Gym Badge. Gym Azalea Gym Badge? The Hive Badge, I believe it is. Whoa, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. We got the Hive Badge, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got the Hive Badge. That's two. Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that know Cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. We got TM89. What is TM89? TM89 contains U-Turn. It lets your Pokemon attack, then switch with the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? One thing I didn't do, and it just hit me that I didn't do that for this, this uh, game. I didn't randomize the TMs. You know why? Because after last time, when we got shafted on every single TM from the gym leaders, I said, no, I'm not here for this. I ain't wake up for this this morning. So we're not going to do that this time. But when we next, if we have another adventure as Team Snaps and Claps, it's a possibility that it can come back. All right. I just had to have some stability this time around. So we're going to go ahead and leave the gym. We're going to leave the Azalea City gym a winner. Once again, Team Snaps and Claps. Here to stay, baby. We had a good battle. That was a very good battle. We didn't lose anybody. Nobody was nobody. It wasn't an easy fight, but we didn't have to didn't have to do too much work either. Well done. That was a clash of talented young trainers. With people like you, the po the future of Pokemon is bright. All right. So are we done here? Oh, a call from my mom. We got a call from my mom. Let's answer the phone, then we'll wrap it up. Hello. Oh, hi, Chill. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Mom. Let me, let me tell you something, Mom. You're not sorry if you keep doing it. This is the third time. This is the third time you bought something with our money. You're not sorry. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. But I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you stop by the nearest Pokemart or department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just call it here. I'll pick up the item in the next episode. You guys remind me that I need to go pick it up. All right, you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, and would love to see more. And all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Mash that subscribe button, and I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke run as well as everything else that all play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you guys later with more here on Alt Play.